joined here by SK Dale Boy Wonder, that's hater that's of real. anime and <laughs> hater of anime and player of sharks. Anime must die. Anime must be purged from this world. That I, I I'm creating a campaign. Feel free to join. See, this is this is the kind of guy who wouldn't believe uh, who wouldn't believe in the Simone that Kamina believed in. I do not believe in the in the whatever the however that quote goes. <laughs> it's stupid. It's anime. <laughs> Anyways, much like this match right here with mm -hmm. Sky Raisin playing the Dragon Ball Z character. Mm -hmm. Interesting to see him going with Kario because I know I've heard him say he um that Machamp is okay in this matchup. I wonder if he's had a change of heart or if he just feels more comfortable with his Ukario. So we're gonna see some interesting stuff here. Or maybe just needs practice with the matchup. Mm -hmm. Who knows? I will say it's always interesting to watch Sky Raisin play other characters. He I can see so many fundamentals he's gained from playing Machamp. Mm -hmm. Um like his neutral is just very um cautious. He doesn't take yeah. too many risks because if you take a risk with Machamp, it usually won't yeah. go too well. Yeah. And he also takes a lot of advantage of the speed and mobility he has. You can see him like doing a lot of back dashes, approaching with the bone rush as well. A lot of stuff from there. Anyway, Paper Sack, um, trying to hold the fortress down, but her back is against the wall right now. Not looking too great, but, ooh, the cross-up there's going to actually mean a lot. Going for the Dragon. That's going to put Sky Risen right against the wall where he doesn't want to be. Going for the Flash Cam, a little bit of chip. Sky Risen's at... Oh, ooh, an excellent good bait point. right there by yep. Paper Sack. All right. Um, Katie. No game audio, apparently. All right. That's weird. Um, that's weird. Alright, so anyway, sorry. Um, we're addressing the game audio right now. Um, Emolga coming out. Oh, whoa! whoa! Okay! That was a weird snag, but hey, it's Poké. Weird snag, but okay. <laughs> Alright, so we got a grab here. That's really going to be pretty good, because that's going to get um, nullify the speed debuff she had. Alright, going to put her in mm -hmm. just the right position for a crit grab. Going that was right nice. back into field. That, that was nice knowledge by Sky Ryzen. Putting on the pressure against a burst um, a slash. He's got a lot of bravery for doing that, but he's going to burst himself now. Right. Ooh, denying the pressure from Paper Sack, just going straight in with the 6x, getting them nice burst, gonna get rid of basically her, the rest of her synergy gauge now, so, and she's probably not gonna have a whole lot of time to get her own burst out, but he's going in, alright, this guy's in a really nice commanding lead right now, um, however, that's gonna be a lot of damage there, especially with the attack buff, oh, drops the shield at the last second, Paper Sack has turned this around now. This is advantageous for extreme speed. <laughs> and she went for an 8x. Very good wake up like, DP. Oh my god, okay. Yeah, that's actually pretty smart for Sky Reason because mm -hmm. um, it was very likely she would have gone for a counter because she, um, Sky Reason was in the mist. And yeah. anytime she, if she used um, King Shield and he went for anything else, she, um, he would have gotten hit by that mist. So that was a really nice call from Sky Reason acknowledging the fact. Getting the nugget, snagging a counter. Mm -hmm. Oh, Some nice. Very safe pressure ending in an extreme speed. Mm hmm. Alright, so. Yeah. All right. Some pokes against the corner, but Paper Sack not having any of it. Gonna push him back with a Dragonite yeah, using... in response to the save. Oh, he got rid oh, of the burst! He goes through the burst! Alright, that's gonna be huge for Paper Sack right now. Getting yourself still stuck in this corner, but. Ooh, that's a big E speed! Oh my yeah, god, that hurt! Okay. This man's DPs mm -hmm. are just the stuff of dreams. Oh, actually, no wow. fighting the Olga. I did not know that interaction happened like that. Me neither. Okay. I mean, I knew there were some, uh, I know of some other projectiles that, mm -hmm. uh, delete Emolga. Yeah, I didn't know that one was that strong. Yeah. Alright, trying to find a button here from Skyries and just doing some safe pokes. Skyries and keeping firm Getting with the shield. Getting that shield nice and crispy. Yeah. Oh, nice 6x Ooh. denying the, um, Paper Sack's own 6x there. Ooh, that's gonna be huge. Get a nice phase shift right there. Nice health lead going on. Oh, Paper Sack's getting really hasty right now. Not playing as defensive as she should. And nice acknowledgement by Skyries right there. Excellent, excellent right there. You can see, like, he was really, like, weighing out. Mm -hmm. Like, he, he knew he had the speed to be able to come yeah. in and wait out and right. face up out. I, I'm noticing he's doing a very good job of uh, disengaging when he doesn't have the advantage. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Um, and then recognizing when he can when he can exploit a bad situation mm -hmm. that Paper Sack puts herself in. It, very it, nice job. It was really interesting when uh, Paper Sack was in her burst and he contested it. Because um, mm -hmm. he knew, like, okay, I've been, like, pretty defensive this entire burst. Like, she probably thinks she can get away with a lot more burst. And um, and he did contest it. He didn't do it last time, but like it was like a yeah. round two he did it. And mm -hmm. like, he contested it, and I think that was really smart of him to acknowledge that Paper Sack was getting a little bit too carried away with her own burst, and he really acknowledged that. Okay. So going in, we got a change in um, support here. Going for Mega Rayquaza now. Alright, so... I'm not sure what I think about the Mega, uh, Mega Rayquaza pick here. I mean, um, a lot of people hear it 
the very least like to use it as either a whiff punish or a shield break. Um, but Sky Reason in the last game didn't really give a lot of good opportunities for that, you mm -hmm. know, except for just there. I think it's good because um, like there was a situation where he like, kept backing up while trying to battle a Bone Rush. And if she's able to uh, test that, she'll be able to yeah. hit with Mega Rayquaza. I'm I'm, concern, I'm confused though because usually when she goes to the support set, she she's been going for um, Mimikyu. Oh, nice likely. parry! Oh my God! Excellent! Full follow up. Oh, not a full follow up, but right. that's nice though. She went for the um, option select there on the Bone Rush with the parry. Mm -hmm. A very interesting yeah. setup. Okay. Yeah, I was say that's probably gonna be a good time for Mega Rayquaza. I try and get a little bit of distance here. Mm -hmm. Oh, he tried to oh. jump it. Didn't actually work out. Very interesting. No. Usually that um, works. Yeah, right. Cario doesn't have a hard time. Oh getting my over god, it. that was wow! What a poke. That was risky from Paper Sack, but it's working out in her favor. Gets a phase change. Nice reset. Is she out that's of range. Oh yes. yes, and she acknowledged it too. Excellent stuff right there from Paper Sack. All right. Very good spacing game from Paper Sack. Mm -hmm. And that able to deny Sky Reason mm -hmm. of the burst there. Yeah. Just going to be sitting close to her That was own. one application that actually hadn't occurred to me until now, was using Mega Ray as a, as a spacing tool. Mm -hmm. um, gets the early shield break. Nice attack bonus. Mm -hmm. All right, going into shield. Oh, that was risky. But I, I'm but surprised Sky didn't grab that. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, we got a nice combo Ooh. going here. Can she put it against the wall? Not going for a quite, reset. But oh, my God. Look how much damage landing doing. Grab. Yep. Oh, Sky is just really not looking good in this game, too. It's like he's sitting at full That's... resources. And there we go! Oh, oh no! Slash outsped Emolga! Oh, it wasn't a perfect, though. Emolga got one hit on her. Ah, uh, okay. Oh, that's a little disappointing. But anyway, that was a very commanding game right there from Paper Sack. I wonder if Sky Risen might be considering the uh, switch to Machamp. Mm, I think maybe. he might be thinking about it. But that was a very, very strong retaliation from Paper Sack. I Absolutely. Mm-hmm. All right, we are getting a change. Um, I I very much anticipate the Machamp coming out now, and Paper Sack might be getting a little bit more concerned now because Machamp's damage output really can put the hurt on, especially if she mm -hmm. gets hasty with her shield form, where he uh, she can just be open to critical grabs. Yeah. Okay. So sticking. No. Okay. Oh, okay. I thought she was gonna go to Mimikyu because that's usually what she would go for in a matchup like this. All right. So. Trying to base something out. Forward X. Mm -hmm. Charge counter. Backs up, disengages, going in with a rolling right. hammer, but catches the mist. All right, so Perry's like just really trying to get herself out of this corner. Nice parry in between there. Very it is going to scale, but she's going to get out of that bad situation. And, and it was a nice, nice um, phase right there. Ooh, Ooh okay. very nice karate chop, outspeeding the... What was that, 4X? I believe so. Okay. All right, so this is going to be nice conversion here from Paper wow. Sack. Wow. Just going for 4Y. If it Why works. Why not? All right. Oh, just waiting for something yeah, there. Very cautious play. Mm -hmm. Tries to go for a shield break, but Sky mm -hmm. Risen catches the counter. All right, so. I'm going to burst now. All right. I'm anticipating a Mega Rayquaza here soon, because this is looking scary for Paper that's, Sack. Mm -hmm. All right, yep, there it is. Yep, going to need to use it for some spacing. Mm-hmm. Probably some chip damage. That's going to do a lot of chip. Oh, he jumps yeah, over okay, it. Okay, but Paper Sack able to keep herself safe, though. Lapras to put her against the corner. Oh, that shield's looking really scary right now. Oh. Ooh, and a charge counter mm -hmm. will take round one. I was kind of anticipating maybe um, two guys can go for a cross up right there to go for the shield break. I was kind of anticipating that because mm. it would have definitely done because that does so much shield damage. All right. Ooh, going for some nice air mix-ups going on here. Right, Sky on landing. Mm -hmm. He's looking a lot more commanding here with it, uh, um, than his Lucario was last game. Looks like we're getting a crispy shield, but mm -hmm. catch the two Y able to poke from there. Oh, so that two Y from Paper Sack. Mm -hmm. That grab actually was really smart from uh, Sky because if she went, got mm -hmm. carried away with the two Y Y, she would have gotten to her shield form and he w and he would have gotten the punish. Right. So that was a nice anticipation by Paper Sack, only going for the single hit. All right. So, oh V for Vendetta. We got burst here, but Paper Sack keeps finding herself against the wall here against Sky Raids, and he's right. putting the pressure Safety on. Safety burst. Mm -hmm. right, just going straight for it. Try to find any kind of opportunity. Little... Ooh, right, that was shield. punishable. Yep. Ooh, yep. Yes, it is. Uh, but I, I think it's going to kill. Um, now but... she's... Maybe? Um... Oh, yeah, okay. just enough. I, I thought she would have had, like, ten or less mm -hmm. remaining. Uh, that Machamp really came in swinging there. 
Oh, absolutely. Mm. But she had an amazing game, too, right there. Like, oh, she, definitely. She, keep, she kept the momentum going. Almost got a perfect She was Skyrim, doing... But... Paper Sack was doing in game uh, in game two mm -hmm. what Sky Raisin was doing to Paper Sack in game one. Yeah. It was incredible. Exactly. She really turned the tides on um, Lucario, forcing carries and switches um, character there.